Hello, today I'll talk a little bit more about curves than before. Uh, when you go to the tab here, curve surfaces, the blue selection, that's all about curves and nerves surfaces. They are related. Most or basically all uh, nerves surfaces are made of curves. And this is the general curves tool here and will create a curve. If you don't find the tab here, go to modeling here in that pull down menu and here you find the curves as well. Okay, um, let's create a curve right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Press enter then the curve is finished and it's nice and smooth. Now we press the key F8 in order to get the components visible and well I move one of the dots a little bit up like this maybe this one as well so we have a really 3d ish curve here press F8 again so we're back in object selection by the way a curve wherever you draw it in the scene over here or over there or far away over here uh, it will always have the pivot its central point where you rotate it and scale it from at the center of the scene. If you want to change this, for example, by rotating it from this point here, from the beginning of the curve, you need to move the pivot. So this is the rotation now. It rotates around that axle. Okay. And now in order to get the pivot, you need to press the insert key insert. Uh, now when you rotate, which I won't do now, um, nothing will happen because this is only the pivot which is pre preparing for um, moving this uh, and rotating this object. Now I can move it here and actually I want to key, uh, I want to snap it to the curve so it's right here. Um, I pick the center of this icon here and move it over here and now I press the key C curve it enables curve snapping okay I press and hold C and now I need to get close to that curve and then I can move on that curve okay that's basically all I wanted to do I press insert again it's, it's next to <laughs> delete <laughs> um, so so we're back here and now when I rotate this thing it rotates from that point and from that point okay so that's a basic thing about the curves the pivot the rotation scaling point center of the curve is always in the center and you have to move it in case you want to do something special with that curve just don't get irritated about it okay we have one curve now and this tool here uh, is called Attach Curves. Select two curves. Okay, we need another one in order to try this out. So let's go to the side window and create a second curve like this, a really stupid one like this. So they're sitting in the scene in a oops, non-related way. And uh, I show you how the Attach uh, command works. And you'll be surprised if you haven't done it before. The algorithm tries to find ways to sort of make a compromise between the two curves. If you go to curves attach here and open the option box, you can instead of blend connect the curves which will give you a much more precise uh, structure. But uh, the, this structure which we'll see now is very smooth. So let's click on this icon. So this is the curve we get now. Let's delete the previous ones like this. Okay. So this is our new curve. This is the part we just drew and this is the part before and we have a just a very elegant curve by just connecting two curves like here. As I said in the option box you can change these things dramatically. The next uh, icon here is detach curves and you need to select curve parameter points. So with this curve selected and then I click here, 
I get an error message down here because I need to select curve points. Now, what is a curve point? Let's go to F8 again. Gives us the components. Is that a curve point? Let's try that. Error message again, because that's not a curve point. It's a control vertex. It's a CV which sort of spans, like in the Bezier world from Photoshop uh, or Illustrator. Uh, it uh, it's sort of it's a swarm of dots around that curve. It spans that curve. It's not a curve point. So we need to right mouse click and choose the curve points. So where are the curve points then? Well, click anywhere on that curve and you'll find a curve point. You can click here, here, everywhere. <clears throat> the curve has infinite an infinite number of curve points. It's just the points along the curve. Actually, with Shift, we can pick several points here. And now, all of a sudden, uh, this command works. So let's slice that curve now. And when we look in the outliner, we have the little parts of the curve, which we can reconnect now. And in the default settings, the, it will reconnect in probably a quite a peculiar way. Let's do this. Oh, it actually does a good job. It's uh, it's quite fine with that structure here. It doesn't have to uh, do special things. So let's delete the last one. And so we have one curve here. Let's delete all those here. So we have just this little piece here. Press F8. So we're in component selection again, uh, in object selection again. So the next one I want to show you is this one, extend. So we have pretty short curve now. And uh, it's uh, it's in the, in the middle of the scene. And of course, using the option box here under curves, extend. Where is it? Extend here. You can extend the curve. You can extend the curve on a surface. Um, you get m many more options, but I just want to show you how to do this. So this is extend the curve. So it extends the curve in the direction where I where I finished the curve before. So that's what we have now. Okay, and since we've been talking a lot about the smoothness of curves and NURBS surfaces, uh, I show you one command which I think is not up here in the icon gallery, but uh, under curves and here you find it as CV hardness. When you look down to the left on your screen, you see select control vertices on a curve, CVs on a curve, and then I can make the that CV hard. I create a new curve. I press F8, move this a little bit up to get a more 3D look here. And actually, why not make this point here hard? Curves, hard. And now you see that I created this thing here. In the Bezier world, you know that from breaking the tangents, it's basically the same thing here. Now when we uh, duplicate, F8 again, duplicate that surface, and duplicate it again, and duplicate it again, and scale it down a little bit, and duplicate that one again, and scale that one down again. We're in the automotive or industrial design world. So let's pick this one, this one, this one. Selection sequence is important here. And now we span a tent over these curves with this icon. It's a loft. It's called a loft. And here you see I have that sharp corner and I have a really precise edge here. How can this object here, let's hide or delete all the others. How can this object, which is a NURPS cube, 
can be how can it be have have the hard edges here <laughs> well very simple look in the outliner it's made of six individual NURBS surfaces here so when you pick this you don't pick the cube but you pick that face as it would be called in the polygon world well have fun <laughs>